So the project at hand today is to fix this bush hog. You can see right here this plate is cracked around the welds. So what we're gonna do, well let's, let's show how far off this is when you get to the tips of the blades. There's the right side. Just under the skirting, on the left side is close to the top, way closer to the top. There's probably a six inch difference. You can see even the plate up close, and you can see where it was hitting. That noise right there is what I realized something was wrong, and I shut it down and figured this out so since we're getting the hot glue gun out we need to get all this dry grass off of here so we don't have a uh, a fire to deal with so i'm gonna get the air gun get this blowed off so we can get started Probably a hundred different ways to do this. Chain and a binder is uh, the best that I can think of. So what we're gonna do is put one end to the lip. like that Okay, so have that hooked down to the lip there. Under the brace, have this chained off, hooked to the loop. So what we should do is twist it back whenever we tighten that uh, binder. Okay, let's check underneath and see how much that gap closed. Looks like uh, still slightly off. 
crank it a little bit further. I mean, it is a bush hog. But I still want a decent cut. So that right there, about two inches on both sides. So I'm gonna get the grinder, get this uh, cleaned up, get the paint off of it, the rust off of it. Got the hot glue gun out. The extension cord makes it nice to be able to just pull out here. Plasma cutter. Uh, these are Eastwood. the cracks filled and a little bit of extra stitching blades are uh, level so let this cool down just a little bit before I undo this uh, binder and see if it holds up I'll go ahead and uh, I'll put this binder and chain up and we'll do some uh, some testing with it see if it's going to hold up and I'll show you where I think messed it up so be one second and uh, we'll do some testing and show you where I think this ripped the uh, metal off so see you in a minute So I got it set so low and it's cutting so even, I went ahead and cut the yard. Just, I mean, it's not as good as the finish mower, but uh, it's pretty good, pretty good. So, so far, and I did hit a few logs and stuff with it, still straight, still good. So we'll see how long when the, uh, the next break see if the welds hold or see if uh, that metal piece needs to be replaced eventually but that's it for this video uh, no drone footage today wasn't nothing's charged so uh, I'm about to have some upgrades I now have no mirrors and these lights need to go so stick around and you'll see upgrades coming soon <laughs>